Hello, podcast listeners. We know podcasts are a great way to catch up on a program that you may have missed on KSJE, and it's provided as a free service of this radio station. But you know, KSJE is now listener-supported, and so while you enjoy this podcast, we hope that you'll also take some time to join KSJE. You become a member today. It's quite easy to do. Just go to our website at ksje.com support and pick the level of support that best matches your budget. Thanks again for listening. Here's your podcast. Eight fifty one Tuesday morning here on KSJE. It's time for our Adopt a Pet Tuesday segment, and that is when I get to talk with Amber Francisco from the Farmington Regional Animal Shelter. Amber is joining me live on the phone right now from the shelter to talk to me. Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Scott. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Thanks for being with us again this morning. And you guys still have a bunch of uh, animals at the shelter. You guys still pretty full, huh? We do. We are so got quite a few animals to pick from. Um, the selection we have today are just a short amount. Okay. Well, let's get right to it and uh, and tell folks a little bit about some of the animals that are on the list this week. Pablo is leading the list. Tell me about him. Pablo is a two-year-old healer mix, and he is a charmer for sure. Um, he is playful, energetic, loves being out and about, going for walks. He was out on a walk when that picture was taken. Um, so if you're looking for a new best buddy, somebody who can get you out and about and you know, then go sit on the couch and watch your shows with you, you got to come down and meet Pablo. Okay, there you go. All right, that's Pablo. He is available this week at the shelter, and so is uh, Shiloh. Yeah, Shiloh is a playful six-month-old pup. Um, she has got stunning blue eyes. She's solid white. Um, and if you can see the picture, she likes to be in the water. So. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, her. like a water dog. Um, yeah, if you're looking for somebody you could take to the lake and you know sit on the end of your paddleboard or kayak with you, I bet you she'd she'd learn to do that and just would really enjoy it. There you go, very good. That's Shiloh available this week at the Farmington Regional Animal Shelter. And what about Catterwall? Catterwall is a cute um, three-month-old kitten. He was actually we actually found him abandoned in the parking lot of the shelter. Um, he was scared, and it took us a few days to catch him. Um, but once we did, he knew he he was li- going to live the best life here at the shelter until he found his forever home. But now he's ready, and um, we just hope somebody will come down and adopt him and take him home. He's a solid black cat, um, and he's just a playful little kitten that would just love to be in his own home today. Okay. All right. Very good. And last but certainly not least, we have a pair, Carl and Clyde. Carl and Clyde are three, both three-month-old kittens, little orange and white tabbies. Um, would love to go to a home together, and we do have our two-for-one kitten specials. Um, so, you know, you can get two for the price of one. Nice. Um, and they are the best of friends and would love to run around throughout your house and just run and play. Very good. Well, nice if you can keep them together, that's for sure. So it uh, looks like they'd make a nice addition to uh, to a home. And you're still having a, a pretty good deal, too, in addition to your kitten deal uh, on adult adoptions, right, at the shelter? Absolutely. Um, we have a lot of adult animals, dog and cat, and a couple rabbits um, that are looking for their forever home. And for right now, through the end of August, they will have a zero um, adoption fee. So the, the adoption fee has been waived for them. Um, so come in, pick out a dog, and you, you fill out paperwork, and you don't have to give us any money. <laughs> wow. How about that? And you still get all the benefits of the uh, of the adoption, right? Like the vaccinations and the microchipping and all that stuff, correct? Absolutely. That all comes with it. They're spayed, neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, um, and just looking for a forever home. So come down. Um, you can If you don't have time to come down and spend all day down here, um, you can go on 24 Pet Connect and see who we have available for adoption. Make a list. Come down. And we'll introduce you to the ones that you want to see. There you go. Okay. Very good. And so of today's um, pets, I think, uh, what, Pablo is certainly um, qualify, right? Pablo and Shiloh. It's and Shiloh. And over. So over six months. Come down and, yep, six months and o- over we consider adults. So come down and meet one of these guys or one of the many, many more we have. Okay. That's Shiloh again and, uh, and Pablo. We'll give everyone another look at those great-looking pets. So there you are. Very good. Well, Amber, you're going to be open, what, 1130 today? 
Yes, we're open from 1130 to 530, so come on down and see us. Okay, very good. Amber, I appreciate your time every week. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. You have a wonderful week. All right, you too. Thank you. That's Amber Francisco from the Farmington Regional Animal Shelter. She is my guest every Tuesday on our Adopt-A-Pet Tuesday segment right here on KSJE. And, of course, we remind you that if you're not in the market to add a new furry friend to your family, you can help us spread the word by just going to our Facebook page or our YouTube channel and sharing this segment from there to your social networking uh, friends and family and maybe get the word out that way that uh, these animals are available uh, from the shelter. And we do remind you, too, that when you are ready to add another furry friend to your family, do consider adopting from one of the local animal shelters or a rescue organization and to help control the pet population as well. Thanks for joining me this morning, everyone. It's been great having you with me, of course, tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning. We're going to be talking with members of Dining with the Dead, the annual fundraiser for the Rio del Sol Kiwanis Club that takes place in September at uh, at uh, Farmington's Greenlawn Cemetery. We'll learn a little bit about the history of Farmington tomorrow morning. We hope you'll join me tomorrow morning, a little after 8, right here on KSJE Farmington. Did you enjoy that podcast? We hope that you did. And if you did, share it with your friends. And if you really want to keep podcasts like this coming, please support KSJE. You can do it easily online at ksje.com.